Hi, I'm Rosamond Glately and I would like to share with you my Give and Thanks and Pay story. I would like to inspire others to perhaps do this story with us. Uh, it's very inspiring and uh, it's nice to get people involved. Hello, welcome to the Parish of the Ascension. My name is David Burroughs and I'm the rector of the parish and I've been here for a while now and been seeing all sorts of things happening as people change and grow in their faith. In particular, the giving thanks and praise is what we do on a daily basis as we serve Jesus, as we serve the world. And people don't always see or know how that is. There are so many different examples of how people care for their neighbors, care for strangers, and those people who would come among us and try to see what are we about and why should we be a part of this faith community. So I encourage you to take a look at some of the other videos that have been offered and some of the other things that happen here at the Parish of the Ascension and find out what are you thankful for? What things really make a difference in your life? And how does Jesus impact those things? Is your life going to change? Are you going to take a step in a new direction? Are you going to gain confidence? Are you going to share your love? There are lots of ways in which we can see and feel the presence of God and we can see and feel how we as a community of faith will serve the world and follow Jesus. Thanks. Bye. My name is Reverend Lynn Courage. In giving thanks and praise to God, I think three words are very influential, at least in my own life. Generosity, giving, and gratitude. And I want to share some scripture with you today. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. This piece of scripture, I think, has influenced my life in many and various ways. And I believe one of the greatest strengths that this scripture brings me connects me with my story of my own life. When I was very young, I always knew that God had many paths for me, and the ones that I chose to take are the ones that I denied. Some of the chosen paths were very challenging, and of course some of the denied paths were even more challenging. And for me, when I was 39, um, God made a straighter path, I believe, that I could not stumble or fall off of. And that was when I uh, went to Queen's College. And as a result of that, of course, I'm a priest today. Um, generosity and giving and gratitude are three key words that I've tried to maintain in my life. I always believe that we need, as Christians, to pay things forward. We have been given so many blessings in this life, from the day that we are born as a gift of God and made in the image and likeness of God, we journey with God in many and various ways. And it is up to us to take the gratitude and giving and generosity that God has given us to pay it forward to many people in this world. And you don't have to be an ordained clergy to do that. I think that is the greatest gifts that God has given each of us. Hi, I'm Maxine. Um, when I first heard of the giving thanks and praise, I thought it was all about the money. But no, there's more to it than that. For me, uh, I give thanks and praise by uh, coming to church and I fulfill a, a variety of roles. I'm Eucharistic assistant. Uh, I help administer communion and I do some readings and so on in that role. Uh, I also uh, serve in the choir and I enjoy singing. So that's how I share my passion. Uh, for music and uh, it's absolutely awesome to have that opportunity to do so. I've also served as a youth group leader and Sunday school teacher and uh, started when my kids were really young and then uh, kind of grew in the church as they grew. So uh, for me it's giving thanks and praises not about the money but showing my gratitude for um, what God has given me, the many gifts I've gotten through Parish of the Ascension. The outreach of this church is phenomenal, um, and I'm proud to be a member. So uh, for anyone who's thinking of joining the church or wanting to uh, join a community, I'd highly recommend Church of the Ascension. It's been a blessing for me. 
Hi, I'm Kim Pike. I'm Lester Pike. And um, we're, we've been coming to Ascension in for about five, five years? Five years. Since uh, we initially, I guess, were invited to a dinner at my brother's uh, to meet with Ken and David at the time, uh, now David, uh, to take up racing a target car. At the time, I was very skeptical of, uh, of doing it. Not me, I'm not a speed freak, so uh, I was very nervous about it. Uh, we met with them, they're very, anybody who knows Ken and Dave, or well, Reverend David now, I guess, uh, realizes that he's a very thoughtful, well-spoken, well-intentioned individual. Very supportive. Uh, very supportive. And we decided, yes, we would take up the, uh, the cause. Uh, neither of us had been regular churchgoers. Both grew up Anglican. I grew up uh, Spaniards Bay, went to church every Sunday, carried the cross as a server. Uh, joined the military and kind of moved away, lost touch with the church. We all need to delve inward to find out where God is guiding us into our generosity, giving and gratitude in all the gifts that we received. I think one of the gifts that God has given me is that of walking with people. Sometimes uh, when we are journeying with somebody, we can certainly share in their story. And that story has become a part of we, who we are in God's great plan. I just want to go back to this scripture again because it said that the paths that God gave us is straight and he will make straight your paths. Well, I tell you what, I've had a lot of many crooked, upside down, roundabout paths in my life. But I think God has always had the straight path. And for me to continually walk that path is always a challenge, whether you're ordained or a lay person. I do want to make mention that um, no matter where you are in your journey of life, whether you're just starting out as a young person or whether you're an older person and just coming and believing and following in Jesus Christ, that there are many paths that we have to travel in order for us to come to the path that God has for each of us. I ask you to delve a little deeper. Maybe some scripture will speak to you. Is God enhancing you to be a part of a certain ministry? Is God calling you from something that you do and to your community to partner with? Or if something has happened that in your life you'd like to share your story and pay it forward to somebody else? Just like Lester, I was in church choir or junior choir in my church and then, you know, when you start your work life, church kind of falls off because it was, um, well, you know, moved to town, didn't know anyone, didn't know what, you know, where to go and um, kind of was just that person who went to Easter and Christmas. Still kind of felt like, you know, should be part of the church and wanted to and Lester and I talked about it for off and on for a while when we got you know, when we got together and stuff, and then when we got in contact with Reverend David and did the racing with the Reverend and fundraising for autism, I mean, one of the things I remember from that that I really found inspiring was that um, David would talk about and reflect on what we did today and how did we impact people and, and just then reaching out to people, doing something different and not just coming to church for, you know, the Sunday service and things. And since then, um, I joined a choir here at Ascension and met some, you know, have some great friendships there. And then we got involved with Home Again. Um, Lester's on the sides person. I ended up being nominated and graciously accepted the nomination as head size person. <laughs> now can't get out of it. Uh, <laughs> so anybody watching this, <laughs> we're looking. Um, but... And I joined the Men's Service Club last year, and that's that's a great organization for fellowship. And uh, so it started with an invitation, basically, yeah, right? It, 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 it started, started with, with an, an invitation. invitation to do something we were 
we were like, oh yeah, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. You know, that'd be good to get a part of. And, <laughs> and I mean, and part of that was that, you know, we were expected to come to certain services here at Ascension. And so then you kind of got to see, okay, well, you know, you hear some sermons, you see what goes on in the church. And, you know, I got to hear a choir and I said, wow, you know, they're doing some really, they're singing some really nice music. So I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'd like to do that. And, and uh, then we went to a family, son, uh, family service and went downstairs. And of course that was one of the, the welcome back Sunday it probably was. And I said, okay, yeah, sure. I'll join the choir. My name is Ina Kearley. I am the organist choir director here at the Parish of the Ascension. I've been here for 25 plus years now. Prior to coming here, I was at St. Michael's Church in St. John's for 17. And before that, I was, uh, if I'm from the Ghouls, so I was involved in my home church in the Ghouls, going through, of course, a family of churchgoers. So all I, like, I remember in my life is going to church. I remember going to church in a very small church in the Ghouls. Uh, it was a family-oriented church. I would sit with my mother and we would go to morning service, Sunday school in the afternoon, and evening service. So I think church has been in my life ever since I can remember. And the priests would come to our house for breakfast after the morning church. They would come for a dinner after the early or the 11 o'clock service, and then supper before the evening service. So it's always been full of that. My life in the church is basically based on music, but I do other things as well. But the music part is the one that's closest to my heart. Here at the Ascension, I am thrilled to have wonderful singers, great choirs, junior choir for children, uh, always looking for more. This year, we've lost some members because they're now teenagers. So we're looking for children nine years old and older to join the junior choir. And the congregation loves hearing children sing. And our senior choir has been devout for many, for all the years I've been here. And uh, they just now are, we're three-part harmony. And we're very involved in things in the church and things outside the church. So uh, we're always performing, we prepare things for our service, and we're always looking for new members. So if you can sing, you don't have to read music. You just like to sing, you want to become part of a wonderful group in the church, you're welcome to come to the choir. We meet Wednesday nights, and or you can see me on Sundays. I'm also quite active here at the Ascension and other parts. I look after confirmation. I'm on the Ways and Means Committee. I do things around the church that people don't know, help decorate, help buy things, help order things. Uh, love now to the point I'm also thinking about becoming a member of the Altar Guild because I enjoy uh, getting the church ready and helping the ladies in there with flowers, candles, and cleaning up. Um, and I don't know what else I can say. Outside of church, I'm very involved as well. I play for funerals around the chapels and other churches. And this year I'm also doing the organ position at Queen's College and teaching church music. I don't have, I am retired, a school teacher, but uh, I have no time. So retirement came and went, and now I'm full-time working again. So uh, again, my life basically though is around music. I have a very supportive husband, thank goodness. And uh, again, family roots have been in the church, so my sisters are still involved. And uh, it's been a, a wonderful journey for our family. So again, if you are interested at all in becoming part of our choir or part of our congregation, I'd love to have a chat with you if you have any questions. Thank you. Um, you know, I mean, we've both sat on vestry at various times, so you get to see a different side of the church. But, um, you know, and then, you know, we've been talking about the different things that go on here at Ascension. So I have friends who, they're not regular churchgoers, but they look forward, they want to know when our carol service is in because that kind of starts them off in their Christmas season. And then, you know, now we've got other friends of ours who are now members of Ascension, just because of the outreach work and the different things that are going on in church. You know, I just find that, you know, we are about giving back, and I think that's really important in supporting our community. And, and uh, you know, and making us better. Yeah. That's right, and then it's look easy. at how much you've inspired yeah. others to, to join in. And, and you yeah. know, we're both fairly involved with day-to-day, -day, or well, not day-to-day, -day, I guess, because that would be incorrect, but special events and fundraising and, yeah, you know, Yeah, and I'd certainly tell anybody. Breakfast with Santa and yeah, seniors' dinners. And, uh, yeah, which is great. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. 